Hello everybody, my name is JJ Menu and I'm an application engineer at Arway Electronics. Today, let's talk about world time clocks. In the digital world, time is everywhere. Not only the high-speed clock that creates the oscillation and timing reference for a microcontroller, but also world time clocks names, named RTC, giving the date and time like any watch. The vast majority of microcontrollers come with an embodied RTC that meets many application demands. But for very high demanding applications, a standalone RTC must be used. A decade ago, microcontrollers integrated in RTC consumed several microamps and could oscillate only with large and through hole 32 kHz crystals. Indeed, small surface mounting crystals have a high serial resistance in the range of 70 kilo ohm versus 30 kilo ohm for a through hole crystal. And microcontroller oscillators were not powerful enough to guarantee the oscillation with such a high resistance crystal. It's at that time that the PCF8563 from NXP and the M41T00S from ST Microelectronics became some standards on the market and are still widely used. Microcontroller's world time clock's robustness has improved and nowadays RTC consumption can reach in the 500 nanoamp range with a high resistance crystal. But new conditions can impose the design of a standalone RTC. These reasons are input voltage, accuracy, power consumption and temperature. In wearable devices, battery voltage can be higher than 3.6 volt, the common maximum voltage that microcontrollers can withstand. To optimize battery lifetime, an RTC accepts higher voltage input and wake up application by turning on the power supply at a fixed time, thanks to an interrupt triggered by an alarm. It's not even necessary to take extra space on the board. The smallest 32 kHz crystal in the world is the FC12M from Epson, with a tiny size of 2.05 by 1.2 mm but the oscillator needs two extra capacitors. It even takes more space if compared to the M41T62LC from ST Microelectronics, that is an RTC with embodied crystal in a tiny 3.2 by 1.5 mm package. Another use of standalone RTC is accuracy. A 32 kHz crystal is usually accurate at plus or minus 35 ppm at 25 degrees Celsius and a drift in temperature of more than 100 ppm across temperature. As a point of reference, 100 ppm error is more than 4 minutes a month. And this large error is unacceptable in some applications, like utility billing that cannot synchronize with the network. An embedded crystal allows designing an RTC with a temperature compensated crystal. The PCF2129T from NXP is an RTC with TCXO that guarantees an accuracy of plus or minus 5 ppm or 14 seconds per month across minus 30 to 80 degrees Celsius. Standalone RTCs also continue to optimize power. The PCF2123 and PCF8802 from NXP can consume in the range of 100 nanoamp only with a low resistance crystal at 25 degrees Celsius. No microcontroller can reach this performance today, and new security applications need ultra-low power. For instance, in new smart cards, the CCV code, the three digits at the back of the payment card, is dynamically changed every 20 minutes. Obviously, the ultra-thin battery inserted in the card is not removable, and ultra-low power is very critical. Finally, all industry uses RTC modules that face extreme temperatures. Indeed, oil is found deeper and deeper in Earth's crust, where temperatures increase dramatically. 175 degrees Celsius is a very common situation in this industry, but they already prepare for temperatures as high as 200 and 225 degrees Celsius.